What was supposed to make life easier for a Lakewood neighborhood is instead generating resentment. A six-story cell phone tower now stands outside their homes, and the community is not happy living in its shadow. Denver 7's Sean Toll has that story. See where the lattice type stuff fence is at. Marilyn Tate has lived in her Lakewood home for a while. I've been here 48 years now. But there's a new development just behind her fence. I found out last Tuesday from the neighbors that they are putting a cell tower in right on the side of the office buildings in back of us. No one notified us. We knew nothing about it. Now all the new cell and 5G towers are not a new thing in the area, but what really has neighbors concerned here is just how close this comes to their homes. The city didn't notify anybody. We heard nothing about it. How can they put something like that in a residential area as close as they are? Contact 7 got the permits for the 60-foot tower. According to those permits, it's being built by an independent company designed for two wireless carriers. However, T-Mobile antennas are on the permit plans. We reached out to the builder and T-Mobile for comment and have yet to receive an answer. I'd like to see him put it somewhere else. Tate and her neighbors are reaching out to city leaders for help, but know they have a hard fight on their hands, given how other tower battles in the area have gone. We may not have a leg to stand on. It may go through and there's nothing we can do about it. Sean Toll, Denver 7.